Once upon a time, I was a grad student and I wrote a paper about Pottermore, and it is sort of astonishing to me how many times this has continued to come up in the years since. Every now and then when it comes up, I insist that I could explain it so much better in a vlog or a blog post, but that is a thing that has yet to actually come into fruition. But now, here I am doing this thing. This will be the place that I point to from now on. First, a little bit of backstory. Starting graduate school, which was both the switch from undergrad to grad school, but also the switch from sociology to communications, one of my initial experiences was this sense of bewilderment at the kinds of things that were suddenly fair game to write about, and relatedly, because I am me, uh, taking it as a sort of personal challenge to justify the most seemingly inane, nonsensical subjects as legitimate topics for my graduate research. Which is basically why I spent most of grad school writing about YouTube and subsequently has a fair bit to do with how and why I'm here now. In my second semester, I took a course on identity as it relates to communications, and when deciding what to focus on for my final research paper, I found myself in a position where it seemed like every important thing that I could think of to write about was also something that I felt unfit to discuss for some sociopolitical reason or another. And then I came across Christina Horner's Pottermore sorting video from the previous fall. I watched it and I found it fascinating because in it there is a person who has a half a lifetime's worth of what appears to be fairly significant personal experience with this really key component of a fictional universe. And then this website says, nah, you're wrong about yourself. And then what follows is this weird sort of acceptance of that. And so began my foray into fan studies, and also identity formation, which, though hugely important here, is a separate beast for me to tackle another time because there is just too much to cover. My final paper for that class, and the thing that we are talking about right now, was about fan identity formation with Harry Potter and Pottermore as my case study. That paper, uh, analyzes fan identity formation, the implications of media owners intervening on that process, and the ways in which fans respond to that intervention. So basically, I watched a couple dozen Pottermore sorting vlogs and then analyzed the way that people talked about both the sorting process and themselves. I collected a sample of videos and then coded them for a number of different things, the most important detail being whether their Pottermore sorting matched their self-sorting. I was primarily interested in the people for whom there was a mismatch, which, given the nature of both YouTube and the rather lazy way in which the videos were selected, was most of them. In spite of the fact that I was inspired to do this by a video in which there was a mismatch followed by an acceptance of this new information, I had genuinely expected to see a greater degree of attachment to the self-sorting and was kind of surprised to discover that nearly everyone got on board with their Pottermore sorting. Even the most vocal opponent in that sample has a follow-up video in which she decides that she has come around and goes pretty all in on her Hufflepuff sorting. This was surprising in part because there is a good deal of literature on various failures of these sort of after-the-fact interventions from media owners, but that idea media owners, sort of big corporate entities, is kind of a key detail, which is probably pretty obvious to people who spend a lot of time in fandom spaces, but, uh, you know, was a valid conclusion to draw in my little research paper. And so the recurring theme in pretty much all of the videos was mention of J.K. Rowling's involvement in the project. Again and again, people mentioned her role in it, and thus Pottermore's place as canon. Pottermore, for those of you who don't know, had a video of J.K. Rowling pop up before you did the sorting, and then afterwards, when you received your, your result, she would also appear, just to really drive home that sort of ownership. And that, ultimately, as far as I can tell, seemed to be a pretty significant piece of people's acceptance of the Pottermore sorting over their self-identification. There is a whole bunch of literature on identity as a process and whatnot that is also very relevant here, but uh, from the strictly sort of fandom aspect of this, the key is basically J.K. Rowling. I found some part of this disheartening, partially because the lesson for media owners is basically that fans are fairly easily co-opted if you can package your message pretty enough, though it is certainly a bit more complicated than that. But like whenever you get too hyped on fan agency, there is sort of this inevitable rebuttal that usually somebody else is profiting off of this agency. But that is another topic that could fill a whole other video all by itself. Will I ever actually make that video? Who knows? Probably not. I should also say that I found the whole thing to be a bit of a bummer because I am somebody who has very little reverence for the exalted status of canon. I am quite strongly of the mindset that interpretation belongs to the people doing the interpreting, so I guess my little anarchist heart just wanted a little more rising up against the great Pottermore monster. I don't know. But anyway, that is that. That was my paper. All of the like actual academic literature that I used feels much too collectively dense to cram into this little video, so 
this is really just a summary of my little case study. If you are really interested in this stuff though, I will put a link to the paper in the description, which will also include all of the work cited, so you can just jump directly to much smarter people talking about it. I should warn you in advance that there are some faulty, hasty conclusions in there, but uh, if you want to read and discuss, I am always game. And maybe one day I will actually make a video about all of the identity stuff, which is the bits that are actually nearest and dearest to my heart, but uh, who knows? Maybe. It was about fan identity formation with Harry Potter and Pottymore. Pottymore? Good. 